This is Candyland, a place you pretend to visit when you play this game. These are the games we love to play on rainy Saturday afternoons. The object of Settlers of Catan is to build roads and settlements. To do so requires wood. Now, I have sheep. I need wood. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 branded board games. Taffyland, Drops and Risers, Consternation, Ravenous Ravenous Rhinos, Mouse Catch, Battleboat, Phenopoly, Crate of Apes, Yatsu, Tiddlywonks. For this list, we're taking a look at brand name board games, which means games like chess don't make the cut. We're also looking at games that involve pieces moved or placed on a board or surface of some sort according to fixed rules, so card games aren't included either. The games on our list must have first been released prior to the year 2000 and can't be based on a movie or TV show. Games that rely on physical movements, gestures, drawings, and verbal cues such as Twister, Operation, Charades, Pictionary, and Taboo are also excluded. I might say, oh, this, and fudge, yes, oh, that's not what I say. <laughs> now, let the games begin. All right, bubble boy. Let's just play. Number 10, Battleship. A14. D6. Hit and Sink. Oh, you my battleship. Released officially by American game pioneer Milton Bradley in 1967, this guessing game actually has its roots as a pencil and paper game that originated during the First World War. Played on four grids, two to a player, Battleship has each player secretly positioning their ships in a location on the primary grid and leaving it to the other player to call out random grid positions in an effort to sink the other's ships. Delta 9, hit! This game has been so popular that India, Russia, and Japan all have versions of the game. And it was even the inspiration for the same titled sci-fi 2012 movie. India 3-7. India 3-7, loaded. Fire! Number 9. Sorry. 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 Go with you. Sorry. Based on an ancient Indian game called Pachisi and dating back to at least the 16th century, Sorry was eventually registered in England in 1929. It was then adopted by the Parker Brothers, who were later bought out by Hasbro, and that company produced the version we know today. In the game, two to four players must compete to see who travels fastest with their piece around the board, using cards and areas on the board to either speed up their own process or slow down others. Its popularity has been so great that several themed versions have also come out, including the Disney, Spider-Man 3, and the Simpsons editions, among others. Always remember to forgive and forget. Sorry, you hit me, I'll get you back. Number 8. Snakes and Ladders Sold in England and Canada under the name Snakes and Ladders and Shoots and Ladders in the US, this classic race game is another from ancient India and was taken on by Milton Bradley in 1943. Though the game originally featured snakes instead of shoots, it was changed in America because the company thought kids would be put off by snakes. You can land on something good like rescuing a kitten in a tree. Ah, you're going up, up, up the ladder! Or land on break the cookie jar. The game can also be used as a moral lesson of sorts, with the most popular version featuring a board where the travel goes up and down ladders and snakes, which symbolize the consequences for good deeds and mischievous deeds, respectively. Tap of the heap! Up, down I go! Yep, I'm top for good! Oh, cruel hubris! Number 7. Trivial Pursuit Who invaded Spain in the 8th century? That's a joke. The Moors! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's the moops. The correct answer is the moops. After finding misplaced pieces of their Scrabble game, a photo editor and sports editor from two different Montreal newspapers decided to create their own game in the late 70s. Ultimately released in 1982, Trivial Pursuit is a game in which you must move around a board by answering trivia questions correctly, and it came to be hugely popular having sold almost 90 million games in almost 30 countries by 2004. With new editions being released all the time, Trivial Pursuit has also been turned into a video game, home computer game, and adapted into a TV game show, among other things. That's not moops, you jerk. It's Moors. It's a misprint. 
I'm sorry, the card says moops. <laughs> Number six, the settlers of Catan. I want to build a road, but I need wood. <laughs> Do either of you fellas have wood? <laughs> Now translated into around 30 languages, this German board game has players become the titular settlers, each constructing and cultivating settlements while also exchanging and procuring resources in return for points. I just want wood. <laughs> Why are you making it so hard? <laughs> Though created relatively recently, having been first released in 1995, it has acquired many followers and fans outside of its home continent. The Settlers of Catan has also spawned spin-offs and has been awarded several trophies in gaming. And now that I have some wood, <laughs> I'm going to begin the erection of my settlement. Number five, the game of life. I made 50,000 in the stock market today. <laughs> I had twins. I went to the poor farm. I'm on Millionaire Acres. That's life. This was Milton Bradley's very first game, created in 1860 and originally called the Checkered Game of Life. Since then, it has abandoned its initial strong moral message and has become a simulation of a person's journey through life. Find a job. I'm a doctor. Have money, maybe. Get married. Have a baby. I got twins. Including major life events like going to school, finding a job, getting married, and more. Life also has its players dealing with insurance, stocks, and even midlife crises. The game later inspired a book featuring practical advice on life, and has even become a part of the collection of the National Museum of American History. I inherited a stone farm. Be a winner of the game of life. Number four, Clue. Are we dead he is? It's a classic game of Clue. Who done it, where they done it, and with which weapon they uh, done it with. Was it Mrs. White in the library with the rope? Mr. Green did it in the study with a knife. Created by an English musician in Birmingham as a new game to play during air raids, it took off as a murder mystery game, where up to six players must take on the roles of the suspects and deduce who killed the game's victim, in what room, and with what weapon. Moving around the board and collecting clues, the first person to deduce the right answer wins. Originally called Cluedo, Hasbro has since bought the rights to the game, which has produced more games, books, and even a 1985 movie. Somebody switch off the lights! Ah! Number 3. Scrabble. Thebes, I don't think scrunchy is a word. Why not? If crunchy is a word, why isn't scrunchy? <laughs> Well, okay, then I'm using that same argument for Fligament. Very few board games have become international, sold over 150 million copies, and inspired TV game shows and multiple documentaries. Most women prefer men with a fat one. I think that S is a stopper, so let's try Paycheck. That's exactly right, it is Paycheck. However, Scrabble is one such game. Created in 1938 by an American architect, this mentally challenging game sees players using tiles with letters on them to create words either left to right, horizontally, or downward vertically on a board with a grid. Initially rejected by companies like Parker Brothers and Milton Bradley, Scrabble has since been inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame, and there are currently tournaments where the world's best players compete against each other. Shaq tested 29 points. Um, how did... You get so many cues. Don't worry about it. Number two, risk. 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 In 1957, French film director Albert Lamoris created a board game he called La Conquête du Monde. Recognizing gold when they saw it, Parker Brothers bought the rights to the game and released it two years later as Risk, the game of global domination. I can't think of this, all this noise. Or is it because I've built a stronghold around Greenland, I've driven you out of Western Europe, and I've left you teetering on the brink of complete annihilation? In the strategy board game, players must try to occupy every territory of the world as shown on the board's map, which they can do by capturing territory from other players. Hasbro has since created versions based on film and television, including Transformers, Star Wars, and Lord of the Rings-themed risks. 
Win the game, and you win the world. Parker Brothers kind of fun. Before we unbox our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Go for it, red. Go for it, black. Go for Get it. Get off my back. Get it for Follow the path through Candyland. You'll discover the gingerbread plum tree, a rainbow pass, and gumdrop mountain. This is Stratego, not a place, not a time, but a battle of wit and skill and strategy. Number one, Monopoly. Mini chest. Nah. Nah. Ah, I've won second prize in a beauty contest. Yes, no matter the version, we've all played this game. With a history going back to as early as 1903, the version of Monopoly closer to what we know today was published by Parker Brothers about three decades later. Its goal, as it remains now, was to move around the game board buying and trading properties, all while collecting rent from other players and trying to bankrupt them. You're a little light here, Dad. I'm good for the rest, you know I am. Since its original release, the game's mascot has become an icon, while Monopoly itself has been the feature of documentaries. It has also been published in dozens of variations, including a set worth $2 million. This is undoubtedly the world's best-selling and most beloved branded board game of all time. Another case of Monopoly-related violence, Chief. How do those Parker brothers sleep at night? Do you agree with our list? Which branded board game do you have sitting in your living room? The Ukraine is weak. It's feeble. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ukraine has came to you. How about I take your little bonus? <laughs>